Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the volleyball team from Namugongo Secondary and Vocational School. This is the team that is going to represent Uganda and the school in Serbia, Belgrade, 2024, April. So there they are, alighting from the bus uh, in order to enter at the airport, Entebbe International airport that is where they set off from but right here is them uh, alighting from the bus that is their coach mr osia joshua who by the way has really really put in the hard work to train these children mentally physically emotionally and any other way that you can imagine so i can tell you these boys are very very ready and they'll do us proud they'll surely do us proud one thing for sure is that these boys are very very excited that is one they're excited for this journey it's a big deal uh, for them to have reached this stage after all the hard work they put in all the, the journeys that they've been moving because uh, they didn't start playing yesterday they've been playing uh, national level east african level they've been to tanzania they've been to rwanda so yeah, we are very excited to have gotten this achievement, you know, going to Europe to represent the country is a very beautiful thing. And they were escorted by friends and family teachers, because one thing I can tell you, this team is surrounded by love and support. So there they are at the lobby, uh, you know, chilling at the, at the lobby. They reached at the airport at around 10.20. And from 10.20, their check-in was at 1 a.m. And their flight was 5, 5 a.m. in the morning. That is on Friday 19th. So they, they had some time at the lobby. Some of them were not even believing. Uh, that's the captain. That's the captain uh, assuring us that they are very, very ready uh, for the tournament. And they are very optimistic that they will come back victors. And we are very proud and we, we, we trust them we know we've seen what they do and we have complete faith in them so as i was saying most of them were there but they couldn't believe they, they just couldn't believe that it was them uh they couldn't believe that they had reached at this stage so they had to to get some time digested and understand that they were really set on this journey and they were gonna do it some of them are shy <laughs> <laughs> yeah but we're interacting with them you know asking them how they're doing as the team at large asking how they were doing uh, physically mentally emotionally how they were feeling and what they expected what they were most uh, excited about you know just having light moments with them uh, before they could really proceed i uh, don't be fooled by these uh, smiles that you see and the cool demeanor that they have these guys are beasts on the court they are they are they have mastered the art the skill of volleyball and they have all the dynamics on their fingertips you'll see when they are cool and everything at the moment they step on the court oh my oh my it's a different person. It's a different person. I, I tell you. So right there at the lobby, it, it took some time, just as I've told you, from 10:20 around there to 1 p.m. or so. So they took their time at the lobby, and then time came, and they had to go uh, for checking in. After checking in, they had uh, some more time uh, before boarding the plane before boarding the plane a team of 14 players uh, was set to go to Belgrade Serbia in Europe look at them very very happy that I can assure you okay there in the plane he's doing his thing you know it's a one time experience uh, and that's the beauty of the sky. The team is there. Yeah. So they had a stopover at Istanbul. They had to 
stop over at Istanbul before they could get into another plane that would then take them to Belgrade. Boys with food, you understand. You understand. So there they are. Uh, they boarded the second plane that would take them now to Belgrade. And look at the beauty of the sky. Isn't God a wonderful creator? Just look. Beautiful. Beautiful. Boys with food again. You understand. <laughs> so there they are. And, you know, uh, taking in the moment. And it was a beautiful, beautiful experience. One, they were very happy. Second, they assured us they were ready. So there they are. Uh, they reached at uh, Serbia, the Serbian airport, the Bel sorry, Belgrade. They are in Belgrade now. For one, that guy loves the camera. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen him everywhere. So he loves the camera. He's ready for the camera anytime, anywhere. So right there at Belgrade, uh, someone had to come and pick them up. Uh, they, they were assigned a bus that had to come and pick them up. Up. And it wasn't long right there. If you can see a blue bus uh, right there. That is the bus that came to pick them up. And it's it's going to take them to their hotel rooms. And from the hotel rooms, it will be taking them to and from to the courts and then to the to the hotels. But one thing I can tell you, please. These boys are very, very grateful for every support that you have given them. That's their driver. Every support that you have given them financially, in prayer, the advice, everything, everything. They are very, very happy. They are very, very grateful. And all they can say is thank you. Uh, we shall keep 